The computer, a marvel of human ingenuity, has evolved dramatically from its rudimentary origins to become the backbone of modern society. This journey began with simple devices like the abacus, used for calculations thousands of years ago, and has advanced through several groundbreaking phases, from mechanical to electromechanical, to the electronic wonders we depend on today. Each iteration has marked a leap forward in technology, shaping economies, cultures, and daily life across the globe. In our current era, computers are indispensable, powering everything from smartphones in our pockets to the servers orchestrating the vast expanse of the internet. They've become vital in solving complex problems, enhancing communication, and driving innovation in every field imaginable. As we embark on this narrative journey, we will explore the pivotal moments and ingenious minds that have propelled the evolution of computers. From the visionary works of Charles Babbage and Ada Lovelace to the revolutionary impact of microprocessors and the internet, we'll traverse the past and present of computing. Furthermore, we'll cast our gaze into the future, anticipating the transformative potential of quantum computing and beyond. This story is not just about machines. It's about humanity's relentless quest for knowledge and progress. Section 1. The Dawn of Computing. Pre-Mechanical Age. The concept of computing stretches back to ancient civilizations, which developed early tools to aid in calculations. The abacus, one of the earliest computing devices, emerged several millennia ago in different cultures, including the Chinese and the Romans. This simple yet effective tool enabled users to perform basic arithmetic operations through the manipulation of beads along rods. Over time, the quest for efficiency led to the development of more sophisticated manual calculation methods and mechanical aids. This period laid the foundational understanding of numerical systems and set the stage for the mechanical innovations that would revolutionize computing. Mechanical Age The mechanical age of computing was heralded by significant inventions that mechanized the process of calculation. In the 17th century, Blaise Pascal introduced the Pascaline, a mechanical calculator capable of performing additions and subtractions, pioneering the use of gears and levers in computing. Following Pascal, Charles Babbage conceived the difference engine in the 19th century, designed to compute polynomial equations and later the analytical engine, recognized as the first concept for a general-purpose computer. The analytical engine was to be programmable via punched cards, a feature that marked a monumental leap in computational design. Ada Lovelace, working with Babbage, produced what is considered the first computer program to be used with the analytical engine, aiming to calculate Bernoulli numbers. Lovelace's work laid the groundwork for future programming concepts, earning her recognition as the world's first computer programmer. Electromechanical Age The transition to the electromechanical age saw the blending of mechanical components with electrical systems, giving rise to more advanced computing machines. The early 20th century witnessed the development of several electromechanical computers. Among them was the Zuse Z3, designed by Konrad Zuse in Germany, recognized as the first fully functional electromechanical computer, and the Harvard Mark I in the United States, developed by Howard Aiken and his team at IBM. These machines were pivotal in performing complex calculations more efficiently than ever before. During World War II, the role of electromechanical computers became crucial in code-breaking and ballistics. The British developed Colossus, an electromechanical computer designed to decrypt German codes, significantly contributing to the Allied war effort. Similarly, the electronic numerical integrator and computer, ENIAC, developed in the United States, was used for calculating artillery firing tables and later for atomic energy calculations. ENIAC represented a significant advancement as it combined electronic components with traditional mechanical designs, showcasing the potential for faster and more reliable computing. The development and deployment of these electromechanical systems underscored the strategic importance of computational technology in military and scientific applications. This era not only demonstrated the feasibility of large-scale, complex machines for specific tasks, but also set the stage for the next revolutionary step. The transition from electromechanical to fully electronic components. This shift marked the beginning of a new chapter in computing history leading to the development of computers as we know them today, characterized by their electronic circuits and the capacity for widespread, versatile applications in various fields. Section 2. The Electronic Revolution The first generation vacuum tubes. The electronic revolution commenced with the first generation of computers, 
which utilized vacuum tubes for circuitry and magnetic drums for memory. At the forefront of this era were the ENIAC and UNIVAC computers. ENIAC, operational in 1946, was the first electronic general-purpose computer making a profound impact by performing calculations at unprecedented speeds. Following ENIAC, UNIVAC became the first commercially available computer, widely recognized for its role in processing the 1950 U.S. Census. Despite their revolutionary capabilities, these machines were hindered by significant drawbacks. Vacuum tubes generated excessive heat and were prone to frequent failures, making the computers large, expensive to maintain, and unreliable for continuous operation. The second generation transistors. The advent of the transistor in the late 1940s marked the beginning of the second generation of computers, spanning the 1950s to the early 1960s. Transistors replaced vacuum tubes, drastically reducing the size, cost, and heat production of computers. This era saw significant improvements in computer efficiency and reliability. Notable machines from this period include the IBM 1401 and the PDP-1. The IBM 1401, introduced in 1959, became the most popular computer of its time, widely used for business data processing. The PDP-1, on the other hand, was influential in the development of interactive computing and is celebrated for its role in pioneering computer gaming and graphical user interfaces. The transition to transistors was a monumental step forward, ushering in a new era of more accessible and versatile computing. The third generation, integrated circuits. The third generation of computers emerged in the mid-1960s with the invention of integrated circuits, ICs, which miniaturized and incorporated thousands of transistors into a single silicon chip. This advancement led to the development of the microprocessor, epitomized by the Intel 4004 chip in 1971. Integrated circuits revolutionized computing, making machines even smaller, more efficient, and more reliable. This era also witnessed significant advancements in programming languages and software development, facilitating the creation of more complex and powerful software systems. Languages like COBOL and FORTRAN became standardized, driving automation and efficiency in programming. The proliferation of integrated circuits paved the way for computers to be used in a broader array of applications, from space exploration to everyday business operations, significantly expanding the role of computers in society. The fourth generation microprocessors. The fourth generation of computing, beginning in the 1970s, was defined by the development of the microprocessor, leading to the birth of the personal computing era. The Apple II and IBM PC were among the first successful personal computers, making computing accessible to individuals and small businesses. This generation also saw the rise of operating systems like Windows and Mac OS, which provided a user-friendly interface and managed the computer's hardware and software resources. The advent of personal computers revolutionized the way people work, learn, and communicate, laying the foundation for the digital age. The fourth generation marked a shift from computing as a tool for organizations to a ubiquitous part of everyday life setting the stage for the internet and mobile computing revolutions that would follow. Section 3. The Digital Age and Beyond The Fifth Generation – Artificial Intelligence and Connectivity The fifth generation of computing is characterized by artificial intelligence AI, and an unprecedented level of connectivity, marking a significant shift in how we interact with technology. The internet has become the backbone of global communication, transforming every aspect of society by enabling instant access to information and facilitating real-time collaboration across continents. This era has also seen rapid advancements in AI and machine learning technologies, which are now integral to various applications, from personalized recommendations on streaming services to autonomous vehicle navigation. Machine learning algorithms, fueled by vast amounts of data and increasingly powerful computing resources, are getting better at recognizing patterns, making decisions, and predicting outcomes, pushing the boundaries of what computers can do. This convergence of AI and connectivity is not just reshaping the technology landscape, but is also fundamentally altering the economic, social, and political fabrics of society. The present, ubiquitous computing, we are currently living in an era of ubiquitous computing, where technology is woven into the fabric of everyday life. Mobile computing devices such as smartphones and tablets have become our constant companions, providing us with access to the world's knowledge at our fingertips. Cloud computing has emerged as a critical infrastructure, offering scalable resources for storing and processing data over the internet. 
thereby enabling services like on-demand video streaming, online gaming, and enterprise software solutions. The Internet of Things IoT, is another significant trend, connecting everyday objects to the Internet from smart home devices to industrial sensors, enabling them to collect and exchange data. This interconnectedness facilitates more intelligent environments that can adapt to our needs, optimize energy consumption, and enhance safety. These current trends in computer hardware and software are driving innovation, creating new opportunities and challenging traditional business models, emphasizing the need for continual adaptation in a rapidly evolving digital landscape. The future, quantum computing and beyond. Looking towards the future, quantum computing presents a radical departure from classical computing principles, promising to unlock new capabilities that are currently beyond reach. Quantum computers leverage the principles of quantum mechanics to process information in ways that traditional computers cannot, potentially solving complex problems in cryptography, material science, and drug discovery at unprecedented speeds. Beyond quantum computing, the horizon of future technologies includes brain-computer interfaces, BCIs, that could enable direct communication between the human brain and computers, and nanocomputing, which involves computing devices built at the molecular level. These advances could revolutionize medical treatment, enhance human capabilities, and create new ways of interacting with the world. However, alongside the technological breakthroughs, ethical considerations, and the societal impact of these innovations remain paramount. Issues such as privacy, security, and the potential widening of the digital divide must be addressed, ensuring that the future of computing benefits all of humanity, fostering a more inclusive and equitable global society. Section 4 Conclusion The journey from the abacus to quantum computing is nothing short of monumental, a testament to human curiosity, ingenuity, and perseverance. This odyssey through the annals of computing history reveals a relentless quest to extend the capabilities of our minds and reshape the world around us. Beginning with rudimentary calculation tools, humanity has reached the threshold of an era where computing transcends the physical and ventures into the quantum realm. Each leap, from mechanical gears to electronic circuits and beyond, has not only advanced our computational power but also fundamentally transformed society. Computing technology has become the cornerstone of modern civilization, driving progress in every field, from science and medicine to education and art. Reflecting on this journey underscores the profound impact that computing has had on human society. It has revolutionized the way we communicate, learn, work, and think, breaking down barriers and making information more accessible than ever before. As we stand on the cusp of new frontiers in computing, the possibilities for what comes next seem boundless. Quantum computing, artificial intelligence, and other emerging technologies promise to unlock new mysteries, solve pressing global challenges, and open up unimagined opportunities for innovation. However, this journey also serves as a reminder of the responsibility that accompanies such power. As we forge ahead, it is imperative that we pursue innovation with a mindful consideration of ethical implications. We must ensure that advances in computing benefit all of humanity, bridging divides rather than widening them and safeguarding privacy and security in an increasingly digital world. The future of computing holds great promise but it is up to us to shape it in a way that honors our collective values and aspirations. Let us continue to push the boundaries of what is possible, while remaining steadfast stewards of the technology we create for the betterment of society and future generations.